This is the guitar lesson for Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, the easy way and the really quick way. All right, make sure your guitar is in standard E tuning. Okay, and this song has a very easy rhythm guitar part, and then it has a couple little fills, which I'll show you how to play on guitar. All right, so <clears throat> let's start off with the fills, the lead guitar part, okay? So we have the whole. That's after the chorus, and then the song actually starts off with one of these, it goes. So let's start right there, okay? That's the intro to the song. So starting off, take your pointer finger, put it on the fifth fret E string. Take your ring finger and put it on the seventh fret B string, okay? That's the chord you should have right there. So we go. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm playing this one, two, three, three times. I'm down stroking, the, down strumming the whole time, okay? So down, down, down. Then I slide this shape down to the third and fifth fret. Same shape, just sliding it down two frets, okay? Hit it once with a down strum, and then back to the same chord, okay? So. Play that twice, and then you go up to here, take your pointer finger, put it on the seventh fret E string, your middle finger on the eighth fret B string, okay? Then you go three times, down strums, and then back to that 5th and 7th fret. And then the 3rd and the 5th, okay? And now we make the top half of a D chord, which is this same shape, we just slide it down to the 2nd and 3rd fret. So my pointer finger's on the 2nd fret E string, and my middle finger is on the 3rd fret B string. And that finishes out and makes a D. Okay, so I'll play it very slow for you. All right, the song starts off with D. And the strumming pattern's the same the whole time, so down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, so the chords we've got to know are the D, the A, and the G. All right, so it starts off on D. Okay, then we go to A. I notice my strumming pattern's shifting up a little bit, and that's because I'm singing along with it, which I'm horrible at. But so then we go to A, that's the next chord. Back to D. And when I play the D in this song, sometimes I'll take my middle finger off and put it back on just to give it a little bit of flavor, okay? So. Hear that? It kind of resembles I just kind of use that throughout the song because it gives it that Margaritaville feel, okay? And then for the chorus, it goes... I'm going into the chorus. Okay, so it's G, A, D, so watch. When I play the G, I go. So down, down, up, up, down, up. A, same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then back to D. All right, now this is the final time for the chorus, okay? Listen very closely, so it goes. come to D, I strum it once, woman A, strum A once, to blame, G, then it goes, but I don't, and then it goes uh, to the A chord, back to D, and then the verse starts.
starts all over again, okay? So that's a very easy, to, easy song to play in terms of the rhythm guitar, okay? It's even easy for the lead, and I'll show you how to play the solo too, so keep watching. All right, so after the chorus, when it goes, it goes, uh, oh, there it goes. And it stops like that, and then he goes, but I don't. And then it comes in, and it goes, this is the lead guitar. Okay, so what I did right there was I had my pointer finger on the... 7th fret, these are the chords that we used before by the way, 7th fret E string, my middle finger's on the 8th fret B string, and I go, play that three times, down strum it three times, and then I go to that chord on the 5th and 7th fret, all right, and then I go to the 5th and 7th fret, three down strums, and then once on the 3rd and 5th, all right. So those are the little fills that are used a lot throughout the song. So it just makes the song sound a lot better, especially if you're playing with your friend. You can play the, little, the lead part and he can play the rhythm, okay? So the last part that I want to show you how to play is the guitar solo, okay? And in the actual song, there's a couple, I think it might be a, a uh, keyboard or I don't know what it is that comes in and does the solo, okay? So this is how I play it. I go... Then it goes back into, but I don't. Okay, that whole last part I don't play, I finish on the. And if you're playing lead guitar, that's plenty for you to finish on. And then your buddy comes in and just starts going with the A chord. So let's play it really slow here, okay? So starting on the 7th fret B string, so I hammer on with my middle finger on the 8th fret, and I go right to my pinky, so it should sound like this. Okay? The next part is the same little hammer on thing. Right now I'm on the 7th fret B string, so we have... All right, the next part is the same little hammer on. All right, I'm plucking the 10th fret B string three times. And then I go up to the 7th fret E string. And then I pluck the 10th fret B string two times. And then I do a little pull off here on the 8th fret B string down to the 7th fret B string. And I end on the 5th fret uh, B string, okay? on that E note right there. So watch very closely, very slowly. All right, next part, we go down here, and with these strings open, I go B, G, B, then I put my middle finger on the 3rd fret B string. I pluck it twice. Then I take it off, pluck the B string open, then I put it back on. So it should go. Next part, I bar the 2nd fret B and G string with my pointer finger. Alright, so I go B, G, B, take it off. So I play the B string open, then I put it back on and play the B string on the 2nd fret, and the final part. Alright, so that's back to the 7th fret. I'm on the B string 7th fret, and I go... So, I take my pinky and I put that on the 10th fret B string, and then I take it off, so... Alright? And then I play the 7th fret uh, E string. And then I go back down to the 10th fret B string. And then I do this little pull off thing. All right, from the 8th fret to the 7th fret on the B string. And then I play, I end on the 7th fret G string. 
with a little bit of vibrato, okay? So once again, very slowly. All right, and that's the guitar solo. So you've just learned the rhythm guitar part of the song, you've learned the lead guitar part of the song, and you learned a cool little guitar solo. Not too bad, huh? All right, before you shut down this video, subscribe, please. And also, whoop, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, okay? I need, mu I need more followers on both Facebook and Twitter, okay? I want to interact with you guys. I want to help you guys. And if you tweet to me, I'm one of those guys that will actually tweet back. So please follow me on those two uh, venues and uh, download my secret guitar tips by clicking on the little guide right there. And if you want to learn guitar without ever taking a guitar lesson, please click on the amp that just appeared above and I will show you how. All right guys, I will see you on the next guitar lesson, thanks.